Hello! In this video, we will take a look at Mirador's software asset management features. We'll learn what data Mirador collects from managed devices and how Mirador can be utilized in software license management. First, however, we'll get familiar with the user interface of Mirador. Here we see Mirador's management console. The main page is the first thing that users in all roles see when they log into Mirador. In the page title, we can see the name of the company whose data is managed in this instance of Mirador. Each instance is only used to manage a single IT environment. Below, there is a customizable set of quality index reports, which monitor and track the quality and health of the managed environment in real time. Mirador has almost 100 key performance indicators, which can be used to build quality index reports. Next, the News section shows news concerning this particular instance of Mirador. And because Mirador is an asset management system, the main page also shows summarized information about the status and distribution of assets between different hardware types. Mirador provides a wide array of features and many different ways of viewing the managed environment and data for all types of users, including technical personnel, management, and help desk staff. All the tools and reports that are needed on a day-to-day -day basis are organized as views under the Operations menu and the Navigation menu on the left. The views are further grouped under a few main titles according to their intended use, and the groups can be expanded by clicking on them. In Mirador, users' access to view contents can be easily restricted with Mirador user privileges. Thus, it is possible to match the user's access level accurately with their organizational responsibilities, which of course also improves information security. And because all these views are actually different ways of viewing the same central configuration management database, all views are updated in real time when a change is made by anybody from any view. This way, users in all roles always have access to the latest and most consistent data. The administration panel is visible for system administrators, and it contains views and settings needed to maintain and configure the system in the managed environment. Here it is possible to manage locations, hardware categories, and many other basic configurations which are needed as a foundation to perform IT management. Also, user roles and privileges can be managed from here. As we focus on software asset management in this video, we will next take a look at the software inventory information that Mirador collects from managed computers and, mo and mobile devices. The software inventory reports can be found under Software Management, Inventory Reports, Applications, and the Navigation menu. For example, here we see a list of all applications that are installed to this company's managed Android phones and tablets. The column Total Identified tells us the count of devices where this particular application has been installed to. If we sort the view contents by count, we are able to see which applications are the most common in this company's Android devices. The software inventory data is represented for other device platforms in a similar way. For example, here we see now a list of applications found from managed Macintosh computers. If we want to analyze the software installed to our Windows computers, we can do that based on information collected from managed devices, add, remove programs, managers. Or alternatively, we can use the file scan view to see a list of executable files found from the managed Windows devices.
However, since both of the last mentioned views provide only raw inventory information collecting from managed devices, we might also find it useful to use the software catalog view. The data in this view is based on a professional software catalog, which maps the raw data discovered on managed devices to corresponding fully normalized software titles, versions, editions, and manufacturers. Now let's say we would like to see all different Microsoft Office suite versions that have been installed to our managed devices. We first filtered the view contents, and now we select the titles of our interest and analyze them using the Analyze option from the View Tools. And here we now have a report of Microsoft Office suite installations by location. To see more detailed information about the installation locations, it is possible to drill down in the location hierarchy. Using the toolbar menu, we can also analyze the office installations in terms of other dimensions, like for example by version. And in the catalog mode of the view, we can see a list of all computers where some version of Microsoft Office Suite is installed. View contents can also be easily exported to a CSV, Excel, or PDF file. Here we have the same report as an Excel file. If we want to monitor the usage of some specific software or perform license management, then we should create a managed software configuration item for such software. This is easy to do with the view tools. First, we select the desired software from the view, and then we create a new managed software item by clicking Tasks, Tools, Create Managed Software. Here we can select whether the software requires a license, and if we are interested in monitoring the software usage frequency and manage computers. The uses information can be utilized to carry out efficient software license management. If we refresh the view, we should be able to see that Microsoft Office Live Meeting has a managed software item in Mirador now as well. And if we now open the software catalog row, we'll see that there's a hyperlink to the managed software item. By clicking on that, we're taken to the managed software page, where we can see information related to that specific software and manage the settings of the software. Here, for example, we see that the installations of this software are identified by Software Catalog. And when we were creating this managed software in the previous view, we defined that this software needs a license, and we also selected that we want to monitor the software usage. In the Edit mode, we can modify these settings. Since this software needs a license, we will now attach it to a license pool. Actually, we will create a totally new pool for licenses of this software because there are no existing license pools. Here on the license pool page, we can define the settings for the new license pool. Let's start by naming this license pool as Microsoft Office Live Meeting. Then we select the correct license model, which in this case is Rental. And this software is licensed by named users. Additional license information can be entered to Description field.
I will then add my own name in the Purchase Responsible field, since I am responsible for licensing the software properly. Next, we will restrict the usage of these licenses by organization to Trestacom LTD only. And because we want Mirador to automatically allocate licenses, we set automatic allocation to yes. Allocation rule defines the criteria by which the licenses will be allocated. In this case, the licenses will be allocated based on software inventory data. So if the defined software is installed on a computer, Mirador allocates a license for it. And last, we add information concerning the purchase and rental period. Below we see the start date and end date of the rental period. We also see that the length of the rental period is one year. Next, we enter the number of purchase licenses to the number of licenses field, and enter the unit price of a license to the next field. We can also change the currency, because the actual purchase was made in US dollars. We can also specify the software vendor, license owner organization, and the person who made the license purchase. There's also some space for additional information. The license pool should now be ready, and so we can save changes, and then activate the license pool from the tasks menu. The license pool is now active and ready for use. Now we can close these forms and go back to the views menu, where we will take a look at Mirador's license management views. Most license management views can be found under License Management from the Navigation menu. For example, this License Pools view shows all software license pools which have been created in Mirador. Here we can quickly see basic information about the license pools, like the total amount of licenses in each pool and what percentages of all licenses are still available. If we want to see more information, we can drill down to a license pool level and analyze the allocations of licenses from the particular pool. The allocation history report is useful in performing license audits because it shows when and how licenses have been allocated for managed devices. The License Compliance view, on the other hand, shows the current license compliance status in the managed environment. The view shows identified software inf installations, purchase licenses, and the balance between available and allocated licenses. The License Cost view helps to understand the license cost structure. It shows the license cost for different software and displays the potential savings which could be achieved by addressing the overcapacity of software licenses and by uninstalling rarely or never used installations of licensed software. And lastly, the License Transactions view helps keep track of all licensed transactions, thus serving as a software license record. From here, it is easy to see when and how many licenses have been purchased for different software, and all related documents can be stored in Mirador as well. There is also a built-in monitoring feature from Mirador, which can be used to automate the monitoring of software license conditions. And here we see all the monitors which can be used in monitoring software licenses.
For example, this license compliance issue monitor always generates a new problem report when it finds out that some installation of licensed software is lacking a proper license. The monitor checks the license compliance status once per day based on software inventory data collected from managed devices. Then, with automated actions, it is possible to configure what happens if the monitored events occur. We could create a totally new set of automated actions, but this time it is not necessary, since somebody has already created a set of rules for events related to license compliance issues, so we can use that one. On this page, we see the automated actions which are applied to events which are categorized under license compliance issue. If we take a look at the actions, we see that it has been configured to send an email message to the software owner whenever a license compliance issue is detected. And here we see a list of other options, which we could use to define automated actions. All recorded events are also listed in the Event Monitoring view under the Operations menu, regardless of whether automated actions have been configured or not. In this view, we can quickly see whether there are any unprocessed issues in the managed environment. Also, processed events are preserved as history information.